This is Sebastian Mendel Martinez, MMA News, here with Luis Spartacus Glissman, who just defeated Henry Lintla in the main event here at Brave 37, the debut for the organization in Sweden and Scandinavia. All right, so Luis, you've had a little bit of time to probably reflect a little bit, and the adrenaline has died down. How do you feel about your performance tonight? I feel amazing. I feel really good, man. Like, the fight went uh, really perfect. I was, uh, I felt good. And, um, you know, afterwards, it's just a good feeling, you know. Uh, you know, we have all this stress and these uh, thoughts uh, before the fight, and now it's just a big relief, and, and, it, w and it went just as um, I wanted it to, so. I'm and you happy. both, I mean, you're both fighters on kind of similar trajectories. I think same or similar age, you know, both had like a nice winning streak going up, both BJJ black belts, and then you collide. It, it felt almost a little bit like, you know, this is a fight that probably should happen. Is that something you thought about as well, that this is an opponent that, you know, you probably should have faced? Yeah, I think, I, I think it was a perfect matchup, man. We're mm -hmm. the same age, have the same background in jiu-jitsu, we are hunting for submissions. So uh, I took a, like even more pride in winning this fight because uh, I know that my level in jiu-jitsu is, is extremely high. So it was a good test for me because, you know, I haven't fought like top knowledge jiu-jitsu fighters yet. Yeah. So here I, you know, one of my things about doing MMA is uh, to prove my jiu-jitsu in MMA. And now I, I think I, I, I made a big statement on that one. I definitely think so. I mean, whenever you can submit the BJJ black belt, that's obviously a huge feather in your cap. And, and was that a plan? Because I think if you look at this match just on paper, you would say, okay, you're both BJJ black belts. Probably Glissman is better at striking. He should keep it striking. But you wanted to take him down. Was that part of a game plan? Yeah, for sure. I wanted to, to take him down and put the pressure on him. But uh, I, I, I had in my mind that, that I shouldn't force it too much, like mm. stress it. Uh, I have, had to be calm and collective and, and do it when it, it felt right. Uh, because of, I knew it, it was probably going to be a tough fight. Uh, so if you gas too much out and trying to be like too too stressed about getting the submission then you might gas yourself out and if it's a, a, a close strategic fight in jiu-jitsu mm. you wanted extra power yeah uh, so uh, i think i um, i think i develop still from every fight i i, I see myself as a you know well-rounded mma fighter now mixing it up because you cannot just go in with jiu-jitsu you have to mix it up with some striking and, and the wrestling so I feel I, uh, I improved on that one, and that, that's a good feeling, you know? And yeah, you definitely showed an all-round game. You went after him with a lot of uh, heavy leg kicks and strikes. It seemed like he was just out of range from your right hand many times. Like, you were getting yeah. really, really close. He's, he's a tall, rangy, lanky guy. Was it frustrating striking with him? Because it seemed like you, you were just a couple centimeters away from touching his chin. Yeah, I mean, I, it wasn't frustrating because I felt good. It felt good, man. I mean... Looking at it now, I think uh, it would have been uh, awesome to just uh, uh, put the pace more in the striking and then maybe got a knockout. I, I, I think I could knock him out. Yes. So it, that would be a, that would would have been very great, you know. But but I, it was not frustrating because I feel still I put so much pressure on him that he didn't return with anything. I didn't get uh, hit by any punches. I only got a little bit uh, swollen foot because of all the kicks. But yeah. but but otherwise. I didn't get hurt with any punches, and, and that's uh, r really important for me not to to go uh, out from the fight feeling damaged or you know because it's it's a it's, it is a dangerous sport, so you need to 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 t take care of yourself, you know. And so this is obviously a statement win. I mean, main event. Brave uh, Combat Federation's debut in Scandinavia against an unbeaten fighter. I mean, could things have gone any better? Is there any, like, can you take any critique from this or is it just all positives? Right now we feel all positive, man, yeah. <laughs> well, that's probably the right answer. Yeah, then. yeah. but you always have to be self, uh, your b uh, biggest uh, critic. So need to, you know, there's always places you can get better, you know, and yeah. that's the, that's the, way to go man if you you just think i oh, went perfect you're not gonna improve from to the next fight you know so i'm still gonna go home and look at the fight and look on the areas i can improve otherwise uh, it uh, it can uh, you know i need to to improve still man 
I'm gonna, Spoken I'm like a future champ. Build. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Well, speaking of future champ, I mean, the Braves' welterweight division is really hot. Next week, we've got Carl Booth against uh, Abdul Abiragimo. We had Kevin Ruark making a big statement last week in Romania as well. Like, how do you feel about your place in the division right now? To be honest, um, I just know about myself, who I am. So I feel like I concentrate on myself and, and, and I, I want to go for the build. I, I haven't actually studied all the other opponents, but I'm sure there are a lot of beasts out there, man. It's, uh, this organization is uh, growing a lot, man. They're having shows all around the world and uh, having so much events uh, coming up. So I'm sure that it's, it's going to be a tough division, but um, I want to go for the belt, man. I, I really want to be the champ of the Brave organization. Well, I mean, you might not know about the vision, but after this win tonight, I feel like they've got to know you. What is Spartacus's message for all the other brave welterweights out there? Be careful, man. I'm coming. I'm coming for the belt, man. <laughs> there you have it. Potential to be the first Danish champ here in Brave Combat Federation. Louis, always a pleasure, and always a pleasure seeing you fight in the octagon as well. Thank you very much, and congrats on the fight. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks.